goddamn dog got hair all over my only good suit jacket. Uh, what's up guys? Welcome to To See or Not To See. And today we're going to be talking about John Wick 2. I know this movie came out a while back and this, movie's, this movie review's late. Bear with me. Because I've spent all this time trying to practice my Keanu Reeves impression. Whoa. So if you're wondering what I thought of the first John Wick movie, I actually liked it. I really enjoyed it. Alright, now I'm back to the character. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. I mean, anybody who came and killed my dog, I'd be after them and... Yeah, I'd do the same thing John Wick did. Or if anybody even, like, touched my car, you know. But yeah, I loved the first John Wick movie, and I was excited when I saw that it was going to get a sequel, but I was also very worried because sequels to stuff like this usually don't pan out well, and I felt like maybe they're just going to try to milk this. As it turns out, I was wrong. This is actually a really good sequel. That this movie expands on the mythology more behind the John Wick universe. But that also leaves the door open for some plot holes that are kind of, you know, they don't make a lot of sense. As for the cast for this movie, Keanu Reeves is back as John Wick, and he's just as good in the last movie. I think he's better. I love, love, love seeing him play this character. And I've always been indifferent to Keanu Reeves, but I really love him in this movie. I think it's great. Lawrence Fishburne is also in the movie. I love Lawrence Fishburne. Even Common's in the movie, and I don't, like... I've always been different to Common, and I enjoyed him in this movie, too. A lot of the same great characters come back, and they also introduce some really good ones. The villain in this movie, I don't get into him as much as I did the previous villain in the last movie, but he still is enjoyable enough. I just like the one in the first one better. He was easier to hate. The action in this movie is great. I do love shoot 'em up movies, and one thing that I do miss is that... There's not a lot of practical blood effects anymore. I know that makes me sound like a sicko, but I like it better when I see somebody actually get shot and a squib explodes. Instead, now it's a lot of CGI blood, and to me, it just doesn't look as good. I just... It doesn't look as violent, you know. It, 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 I felt that same way with Deadpool and everything. Watching something like a shoot 'em up movie like Die Hard or Hard Boiled or something like that, and then watching movies like this, it's more of a, uh, you know, it just doesn't have the same weight to it. But I still love, you know, the stunts in this movie. Had the movie had great action. I love that this feels like a graphic novel universe and everything. I think it's really good. I enjoyed a lot of the movie, despite the fact that some plot holes did open it up. I like the way the last movie ended better, but. This ending was, it was okay. But again, I don't want to give anything away for you. But overall, though, I had a great time watching John Wick 2. That's why I'll definitely give it a 2C because it knows Kung Fu. Now, I'll let you guys know that I am not a big Matrix fan. That's one of the reasons why I... Uh, Never been a huge fan of Keanu Reeves or never really got into him, but this movie has completely changed my mind. I do think he's a really good actor, and I think that he did a great job with this movie. And I'm looking forward to John Wick Chapter 3. So as always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my new website that just launched. I also put the link to that in the description below, as long as my new public figure, I guess that's what you call it, Facebook page. You can like that. It's also in the description below. It's all in the description below. So remember... I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching. Ah, it's getting hot. I gotta get out of this before I die of suffocation.